We used to think of CRM as a whole industry, as, as like a sales tool. Often they were synonymous. Um, what ended up happening was, there's an interesting uh, fact that we talk about internally, is that if you look at like the S&P 500 over like the last 50 years, about 80% of the companies have turned over. And it's fascinating. These are the most powerful, biggest, successful companies in the world, lots of resources to bring to bear, and yet they're getting disrupted. And we spend a lot of time trying to figure out why that is. And a lot, a lot of it comes down to basically people are consistently competing with each other out in the market. And the best competitors bring the best tools to bear on behalf of their constituents. That's pretty much it. You got the best product, you do the best service. And so when we started looking at the market out there, the R in CRM, the relationship side, was like something that we realized it's not the relationship to the salesperson, it's the relationship to the company. And there were a bunch of things happening, and that, I don't know if it's touching on some of your firms, but there are startups, small competitors with lower prices, eating away at the bigger firms. There are basically other firms that are wanting to expand their footprint, adding a bunch of additional services. And so think about the pressure you feel. Uh, I might not be the cheapest. I might not be the most nimble, the, the fastest down here. I also might not have the most comprehensive set of services. All of those pressures are coming to bear on your customers. And so a lot of times when you don't necessarily have the perfect mix of uh, portfolio or you don't have all the services, what you do have is that relationship. And if you can really nurture that across all the touch points, well, then you've got an advantage. So of course you still got to compete on products and services, but that advantage is something that a lot of other companies were basically leaving on the table. And we started thinking through, like we've all been in there as a consumer, what does it look like whenever you just bought that appliance from Home Depot and then they send you something saying, buy that same appliance? And you're like, don't, don't you know me? You know, what's it like whenever you effectively have to repeat your whole issue and then you get transferred to somebody else and say, hi, how can I help you today? And you're like, I just told 30 minutes to somebody what's going on here. Those are the things that really piss people off. And so whenever you think about that relationship, what is that one platform where you could actually hand that off across all the functions of your company? That's how we kind of stumbled across this customer platform. And to bring all that together on behalf of the customer is what really gives a lot of people a competitive advantage. I love it. And certainly that's been a, some connective tissue, some strategic thinking at this conference. Is, and you said relationship several times, and that's so, so paramount. And I know everyone in this room, one of the big tentpole considerations, client experience. And of course, incumbent to that is having a good relationship between client and professional, so.